Oh my God. I look like I took a shower. Look at the difference. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to get into this easy fall makeup look. I am all here for the pumpkin spice. And so I wanted to create something that was very easy to do. And I created this very warm pumpkin kind of brown look for you guys. It's very everyday natural wearable. So I think you guys will really like that. And I'm using all new product launches that I got in PR. And I found some jewels in these product launches. So I'm so excited to share them with you. We're going for more of a glowy fall makeup makeup look. If you want to see how I got this look, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. I haven't had coffee this morning, but I feel like I've had a lot of caffeine. It's like a natural adrenaline, I think. I don't know. First, we are going to put some brows on so I can have some structure in my face. I know this isn't like super new. It just came out like within these few months, but I haven't really talked about it on my channel. So the new Kosas eyebrow pencil, it's really cute. The packaging is something I haven't seen before. So I have the shade dark brown. I like all the elements about this brand, honestly. And their packaging is always really nice. They have good for you ingredients and the performance is always really really nice i put on moisturizer this morning but i don't put on anything like for primer or serums on my face before i do my brows so that my brows can stick to my skin a little bit better i like that it's super narrow the tip is like really fine which is nice you can create these little brow hairs look at the difference <laughs> so crazy. I just finished filling in my brows. I like the formula of the pencil. I just wish it had a little bit more grip to it. I just need to fill them in with a powder. So I'm going to go in with the foolproof powder from Benefit. It's not new, obviously, but I'm just going to set in those sparse areas like the bald spots because then you're going to be able to see the hair and then the line you created with the pencil. So I just want to fill in that pencil part so that it kind of meshes really well with the hair. Just focus it on the part where you don't have hair so that it blends a little better. Otherwise, your hair is gonna continue to get darker and that area is gonna still look lighter. Just focus the powder right where you need it. I'm gonna go into the Glossier Teak Palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here and pop it on to the crease. But before I do that, I want to use the new Milk Hydro Eye Grip Primer. If you guys haven't used the Gripping Hydro Face Primer, you definitely need to try that. It works so well. It feels really light, very, very light. It kind of feels like a smoothing primer. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. I think I am gonna actually put on a little bit of P. Louise because I need to even out my eyelids. I did a whole video on how to apply eyeshadow for beginners and it goes through the different brushes that you should use and the primers that you should use. So if you're a beginner and you need some help with that, I go into detail about it on that video. So I will definitely have it either linked up here or down in the description somewhere so you guys can see it. But yeah, I just need something that is going to make my lids one nice color. Now we are going into the crease shade and I'm going to top off my brush and just work that in to this area right here. When I think of fall looks, I always think of more of that warm toned, orangey brown, rustic leaves kind of look. And it makes me so happy. Like I think of pumpkin spice, I think of all the like fall candles and just anything that resembles coziness to me is a fall look for me. Like, it was so easy to blend that out. Pushing the shadow closer to my nose because this is gonna help with my contour and the structure of my face. Then there's just like satin and then there's just like really nice shimmer shade. So I have this brush here that I completely forgot to show you guys, but it's a dual ended brush. I use this color. What kind of palettes are great for easy on the go and like you don't really have to think about it. I'm gonna take the other side that's more clean and just kind of blend through these two shades and this shimmer shade I'm just gonna take with this flat part of the brush and work that onto the lid and when you put this on it kind of goes a, a little bit everywhere like inside your eyes <laughs> the particles just fly everywhere but it's really pretty and so far these shadows have been performing really nice so love that 
I'm gonna take this clean brush and just go over the edges. That's very clean, super easy. I'm gonna do my face so that the look can come together. For the face, I just got this serum in from Your Lawn and I got this in PR, but I didn't realize how much it was. It's like 140 something dollars. So this is very expensive. It smells amazing. I've actually been using it for the past since I got it, honestly, I was so excited. It's very fragrancy, so if you don't like that, you might not want to get this, but I absolutely love. It doesn't irritate my skin, and I have sensitive skin, so keep that in mind. You can use so many other creams that are way more inexpensive, honestly, but I am not mad at it, and I'm really loving it. Thank you, Gear Lawn, for sending it to me in PR. I don't see anything super new foundation-wise for me, unless I'm missing something. You guys comment below if I should try something, but I'm for now, I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury foundation the airbrush flawless foundation and I'll be right back all right so I have my foundation on by the way you guys I love this foundation it's so nice the color actually matches my skin really well but I'm gonna use this new YSL new mist I'm going through a dry spell with my body and my face and my hair. I feel like after I do any foundation, if it's not like a dewy finish, I need this extra burst of hydration. I love the way that smells and it just brought my skin a little bit more back to life. Milk came out with something else, which is sunshine under eye tint in Brighton. So I'm not getting like a full coverage vibe from this. So I did put a little bit of foundation under my eyes just so we can even it out. It's really cool. It has like a little ball at the top. Do you see that ball? I already clicked it, so it's already coming out. This one is one. That's probably really, really light for me. So I'm gonna get number two. I'm just gonna put this right here. Ooh, I like how it just glides on the face with the little roller ball. Can you tell I want the coverage? <laughs> I'm covering my entire eye. We are not doing the lifting trick. We're just gonna cover the entire under eye with this. Wow, the way that this is laying on top of the skin is so nice. It's giving me a very healthy looking feel and look. There's like a dewiness. You guys with dry skin might absolutely love this, especially for your under eyes. Or if you have more mature skin, you would actually really love this. It glides over those pores and makes them look like they're not even there. But I'm gonna try that by itself. I'm actually going to New York this weekend and I'm gonna take that with me to test out like the wear of it. Would you guys like to see wear test? I have never done like a specific product review and wear test. If you guys wanna see that type of content, definitely let me know. If enough of you wanna see See something like that, then I might do it. Huda Beauty just came out with their glowish luminous powders, and I've seen them on TikTok, but I want to try it out. This is tan light. I'm a little nervous on my skin because I do have large pores and divots in my skin from old acne scars, but we have been working on our skin and the texture is a lot better. So I'm gonna test this out on my face. I'm gonna take this big large brush, this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles L21 brush, very, very fluffy, and just go around my entire face, except for the under eyes, to set. And actually gives me some really nice color. It actually looks pretty good on me. Wow, I don't feel like I look crazy and shiny. It just looks really healthy. Okay, that worked out great. I would advise anyone to use that. My skin just looks healthy and glowy. So I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna go into the new blush that she just came out with, the Glowish Blush, which is another very like natural glowing skin kind of product. This might be too light, like this is a light peach. You know what, I'm gonna try her out, see if, she's, if she looks okay with my skin tone right now. I like that there's a little mirror in here, so if you're on the go, you can just kind of look in the mirror and reapply your blush or apply your blush in general. Actually, it doesn't look bad. It looks very natural. And here's a note, if you're confused on which blush to use for your makeup, use anything that's gonna match your crease shade. Even if this doesn't, put it into the crease and it'll tie the whole look together. So I'm just gonna kind of tie it into this eyeshadow that I have. I actually really love all the products from Glowish. I feel like my skin looks better and healthier. I'm gonna go over the nose with it. Pop some right here. For my under eyes, I'm just gonna set with a Laura Mercier. I use this every day. This is also not new for me, but it's from Glowish as well, and I love it. This is the tan light shade. And I'm just gonna go over the bronzer a little bit to really intensify the structure of my face. So I'm just gonna go over that and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow again. We're gonna take this shade because we need a little more of a punch in our look. So I'm gonna take this shade 
with the DS04 crease blur brush because it's so tiny and it fits perfectly underneath the eye without it being super dense. It's gonna give you that airbrushed look right underneath your eye. I'm gonna take it out, extend it a little bit. And I like that little glow it gives your eyes. So that's why I'm going with this shade rather than the matte shade. I'm gonna use the Hank and Henry Savvy Brush. It's a great brush if you want an all over blown out eyeshadow look. And that's basically what I'm doing. Going back into that matte shade and just blowing it out all over the lid. So it looks even and even underneath the eye. So it ties the whole look together. This is a new mascara I got in from It Cosmetics. It's Hello Lashes. And it has a really cool wand because there's like two different shapes going on than the top has this spiky ball, so I'm excited to use that. And I'm gonna do the little hack I did on my Instagram reels. I just kind of went back and forth like this, and I'll post it on here on shorts as well so you guys can just see like a quick little mascara hack. And then I go through and comb upwards. It just lifts your eyes so easy instead of just going in straight like flat. This is a nice brush. It's not giving me like super full lashes, but it's giving me the length and it's very separated. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna pick the lashes. I just got these in from Too Faced. I don't know if they're new, but they're new in PR for me. I really like the flare on the lash. These are their 3D Faux Mink Cruelty Free Lashes. I'm using the Duo Glue, the brush on adhesive, and I usually just put it on like directly on my lash line, like as a liner, and I feel like this has helped with my lashes not moving up and they just pop on so easy. And I always kind of slightly just put my lash above my natural lash line so it gives me a lift, an eye lift. And then I'll just like mesh the real and the false lash together once they've kind of dried down a little bit so they can stick together better. And I'll take the back side and just really push it up. I really like these. They're nice. I didn't show you guys the Cinderella collection, but I do want to show you this highlight particularly. This is a really nice highlight from Sigma. What has really attracted me to this is the formulation and the performance of this highlight. It's just so pretty and natural, and I'm very picky with my powder highlight. I have very few that I like, but this is really, really good, and I wanted to show you guys. This is the Artist Couture highlight brush, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and show you the glow it's like a natural beautiful glow in person and it still gives you impact and this is coming from me which is somebody who does not have perfect skin and i still feel really really happy with how the glow looks on me if you have the same like skin issues as i do you're gonna like this a lot and you can still have that glow that's really hard to get when you have the skin type that that we do if you have my skin type for the lip i was so intrigued by this and i keep seeing this brand pop up it's i don't know if it's called fractal or about face but it comes in this package and they have eyes and lips in this package i thought it was so unique and so different so i got this shade right here this is the shade westward and I thought that would be really pretty for this kind of everyday fall look. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a lip liner before. So I have the KKW Nude 2 lip liner. Actually, this is a really pretty color for fall, this whole lip liner. That is gorgeous. I actually really, I'm gonna take this with me to New York on my trip. All right, so let's get into this, this color right here. I'm gonna put it on the center. That's actually really pretty. Last. But not least, the last thing is I got this in for Milk. It's the Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. I haven't tried the spray, so it's new for me. Oh my god. I look like I took a shower. Sorry. I just drenched my face in that. Well anyways, we'll really get to see if this gripping setting spray works because I put a lot of it on. I'm gonna let my face dry down and then I'm gonna show you the completed look and also just try to dry my face. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, thumbs up the video. If you like fall, if you love all the things that have to do with coziness, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you wanna see next. I have two videos over there to the side. If you haven't checked them out, make sure to watch them and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see new makeup looks and just wanna be friends. My face is in a circle right here, so just click that circle. You can be subscribed and stay updated with all my videos. And before I let you go, I always give you a motivational message and and this time it's so simple it's literally just stand back and relax sometimes we forget to just have time for yourself and relax 
That could just mean quiet time. Like if you're in the car, this is what I do. I'll turn off the radio, everything, and I'll just like, Focus on driving, like just focus on driving and nothing else, none of my worries, none of my concerns, and it helps so much. I hope that that helps in some way. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.